Hundreds of critics have voiced their concerns over the government's plan to overhaul the monitoring of children's agency Oranga Tamariki. Detractors include survivors of abuse in state care, the Children's Commissioner and Amnesty International. But the Children's Minister has said they're just having a grizzle. Political reporter Amelia Wade has the story. Retired police officer Chris Graveson has spent his life fighting for children's rights and safety. He knows the laws and knows how they're failing those they should be protecting. 445 pages of legislation. Chris says he knows bad legislation when he sees it. He's appalled by a proposed bill designed to improve oversight of Oranga Tamariki. I described it as probably the worst legislation I've read in any jurisdiction, anywhere or policy. The bill intends to increase the monitoring of the Children's Agency and would do this by removing the investigative powers of the Children's Commissioner and replacing them with a government monitoring agency which sits inside the Education Review Office and give more powers to the Ombudsman. Uh, we want to make sure that children in care are well looked after, are, are safe and that their well-being is paramount. State care survivors, Amnesty International, the Human Rights Commission, Save the Children and the Children's Commissioner and Chris all hate it. And all of those groups have made submissions. We are concerned that this bill has a significant impact on the role and office of the Children's Commissioner and effectively disestablishes this role. Uh, I certainly think uh, that the submitters are very credible. But her colleague, the Children's Minister and the third highest ranked Cabinet Minister Calvin Davis reckons those credible submitters are simply grizzlers. To be honest, I, I just don't know what the concerns are. I think it's just another thing to grizzle about. Ministers need to be able to take that consultation on board and, and listen. And comments like that just show they're not listening. It was just basically insulting to them. And I've never known a minister to actually say that about people submitters. I think when people are talking about issues outside of the scope of the bill that um, you know it's, it's perfectly fine to, to disagree with them. A robust difference of opinion is vital to the process of making laws. However, with Calvin Davis refusing to apologise, there are those who feel the democratic process of allowing the vulnerable to come forward has been undermined. Amelia Wade, News Hub.